download this theme zip file. All right, and it tells you what to do with it. This might be a little hard to read, but you give it a name, and you just need to put a link to it in your HTML code. All right. So I'll give it a name, and I'll just say Monday is the name, and I'll click Download Zip. It thinks about it, does its thing. I'll save the zip file on my desktop. I hope I saved it on the desktop. I hope I saved it somewhere I can find it, actually, to be precise. All right, yeah, here we go. It's on the desktop. If we expand that, there's actually two files that we get. And I'm going to turn my file extensions on so that we can see the actual full file names. They're both CSS files. This one is Monday CSS. This is Monday Min.css. If we look at this, what's the difference between the two? This is sort of a minimal form, which means that they compressed everything as much as possible. All right? Which means that it's tough to work with. But if you're happy with the theme, it will lower the download. It, it'll decrease the download size of that file. So, for example, this file is roughly 20,000 characters. This Monday file, the full one, is 40,000. So it's twice as big. All right? And I imagine if we did more and more stuff, the, the difference might be dramatic. The Monday one is such that if we look at it, it's more like the CSS that we have recognized before. Now, all these things are, are, are classes that are built into that uh, jQuery mobile model and that get applied to our elements based on the data role, etc. So now let's go and let's put that CSS file into our code. Notice they have a, a min version as well, minimal. If you've ever looked at Google search code, uh, 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 HTML code, it's extremely compressed. Why? Well, because they get that right, they want to take all the spaces out of it because how many hits do you think that page gets per day? You know, so squeezing out a few bytes here and there probably makes a big difference on, on the load on their server and so on. All right, so I went and I've, I've added that theme to it. Now, what I can do is I can say for this, theme equals B.
Repeat that, please. No, this one should be after the first one. Um, selectors data theme, not just theme. There we go. So it's not theme, it's data theme. And so then we can go and we can do this. And we can go and choose to apply that. That offers the ability again um, if you want to take this further, to be able to programmatically switch the theme of the page. You could have, through a combination of JavaScript and other things, you could go and you could switch the theme of the page programmatically uh, if you added it on. There also is um, themes that you can download that people will let you download. jQuery mobile theme. And let's see. If you notice, the default sort of looks like the iOS one, but they have other themes. There's a good one I wanted to... I was looking at yesterday. Let's see if I can find it. Forget what it was called. Just a dialogue. I, I believe that'd just be a dialogue, or or like an alert that you'd pop up. But yeah, you can do that. Yeah, open dialogue, open mobile, modal dialogue. Go 
there's another page that shows exactly what this thing looked like. And I'm feeling stubborn, so I'm going to try to find it. I'm looking for. I guess uh, it's not that big a deal. If you're interested in it, you can find it and download it. There's a couple approaches that you could take. You could make each theme sort of a um, self-contained, or you could use e or uh, by each theme. I'm sorry. I don't mean each theme. I mean each swatch, each A through Z. You could make A, for example, your summer colors. You can make B your winter colors. You can make C your spring colors, and so on. And then just by changing the code, programmatically or otherwise, you could switch themes that way. Or, like what they did in the bootstrap theme, is they made each of the swatches like one color. So like A was red, B was yellow, C was blue. And they went, and the things that they wanted red, they applied the A swatch to, the things they wanted that. So, there's a lot of different ways that you could you could uh, develop these themes and, and use them, but again, it offers, as you can see, a lot of, of flexibility as, as far as that goes. Remember, on top of that, you can apply your own style sheet. So if there's something that you don't like that the framework does, more than likely you can take matters in your own hand and do something custom to, to handle it exactly the way that you want to. All right. Remember, we have a quiz this week, and it will be similar to the format of the other quiz. All right. Um, I still have to look to see what's on tap next. We will likely look at Warful again now that we have that correctly installed on our server here. So I'll take a look uh, and figure out what we're going to do for Wednesday, but do know that we'll have uh, a quiz similar uh, in format uh, to the last quiz. All right. Would that be one of those Thursday to Monday time frames? Yeah, same sort of thing.